until you're sick or you're ill. Now, if we uh, somehow would be able to incorporate uh, physical, physically active way of life into healthcare, we part of healthcare. At the other end of the spectrum, where at the other end we have illness intervention, then we would have a whole new uh, uh, sort of forum to talk about this. So it's an interesting uh, view because in, in, in our group, we often use it this uh, question how differ uh, physical activity if it, how differ physical activity uh, benefits of physical activity promotion when uh, you see health organization report and when sport organization report is quite different it's quite different, you see, and, and I think that because you see, for when we talk about this in, in health promotion context, so physical activity is one instrument there, but mm -hmm. when we talk about sport organization, it's our value. We love it. We live for it. And and just in Finnish radio, you see, it was you see, the the, the, the director of, of Finnish health institution reported physical activity is important. Do it. And then was you see same same topic from Finnish and even from Finnish Central Sport Federation. It, it has to be different. Mm -hmm. They are talking about same phenomenon, but the relation to this phenomenon is completely different. And that's the, that's the way how I see that. That when when well, you take this up, so uh, uh, that our message coming from the field of physical active way of living, which is our basic value as so. So I think this is one opportunity to tapisa to, to take room, mm -hmm. to take place, beside this WHO. So I, 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 I would put my voice so strongly about it. Uh, however, I, you see, now, but I return to this, return to my question, because it's important. Uh, Bea is skillful, even I'm skillful enough to, to to take yesterday's material, put it there, and that's the concept. Because there is good information, but it's a process. So how you did you discuss about about this pro nature of the process? How because we have now really good information and material in technical terms, it's a piece of cake to put it there. But to to, to get it, you see, living process. So. It's really a big challenge how we how we are going to do it because because I are telling minds that we had to do it together with Liverpool and life. Well, so I think this is this is a question for the roadmap uh, now between uh, today and the fourth of September, yeah. and uh, we will be uh, announcing how we are getting on in this time frame in a, in, a, in a short time. Uh, in a short time means uh, at the end of the. Uh, of the meeting, uh, and of course we need some devoted people who are sort of following up this process. Uh, we will provide the necessary personnel at the Tafisa office for um, coordinating and for uh, coping with this question. It is one of our priorities within the next five, six months up to the 4th of September. Yeah. And uh, the good thing about this workshop is that we are so encouraged and have so much good stuff already that uh, we don't think this work cannot be done. On the contrary, we are, even from a very realistic point of view, very confident then that we can manage uh, to to follow up yeah. what has been initiated uh, today. One important part of this discussion is, I think, that when you talk about this evaluation, mm -hmm. yeah. this why why we are evaluating this for this purpose of the city, in case for the purpose of acting city concept and so on. This, you see this, uh, this procedure as well. Because who is interested in evaluating these results? For, 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 for which purposes they are? So, I, I, mean, so, uh, I could comment to Jorma's question that uh, I have to disappoint you. No, we couldn't come to a final solution or or anything like that, but I think that we raised up or, or more produced uh, 
the, the uh, most important questions. For example, do we act through settings or uh, individuals in our focus? Or, or do we provide tools for cities that should first act with the uh, uh, individuals and thereafter uh, the settings because of their development phase? since we are talking about global global guidelines or or whatever so so i think that important questions popped up and those decisions have to be made what is the main emphasis mm -hmm. and where mm -hmm. and what kind of toolbox we will create the elements are there as you mentioned the, uh, yeah. but the, also to make to answer or to follow up what you are saying to also make this very clear and to and make you understand that we try hard to have a realistic view. This concept will not be the 100% answer to all the requests and all the necessities a community might have in the broad field of physical activity and sport for all. We cannot, of course, Stepan, uh, uh, answer all those questions. According to our statutes, according to our experiences and uh, current work, this concept will be a more operational one. You might even say a uh, marketing-oriented program to put together all the, the tools, the opportunities necessary um, to, to work on the, on the community level. And of course we will bear in mind that it is necessary that there will be modification of behavior, that there will be an increase of sport participation in a community. But at the present stage, if we are giving priorities, it is a paper which is very much sort of applicable, op operational. It would start with uh, maybe once again putting forward all the decisive benefits which are in favor of giving more support to physical activity and sport for all in a community, since we know not everybody is aware of that. And we also need those arguments to make people who are in charge of physical activity in the community stronger to help them to, to fight their uh, aims and their uh, ambitions in a city council. Then we might need some sort of a check program to find out one, uh, 1,000 points. Is this community at 200 points or at 49 or not, not very uh, scientific, but we need to find out about the status in terms of active city. And of course we need to, the definition of active city. Uh, and we need the necessary, like it has been put forward by Liverpool, if you look at the Liverpool concept, they have five or six major areas how to uh, improve, how to make sure that a city becomes active. Infrastructure, uh, um, uh, partnership oriented uh, initiatives and so on. So it must not be this big uh, uh, project, maybe we start like, like that. Yes. Um, in terms of time, and uh, so I think that if we could go to the second working group results, they relate quite a lot to what has been mm -hmm. said here, and they in a way a little bit concretize what you have been doing. So I think it would give more uh, food, food for thinking and, and uh, uh, summarizing uh, what we yes, have. Yes. Because, but, but I have some questions, because this is the moment of what never ever returns if this kind of people are So a couple of questions here. You see, uh, Dr. Ari Karimaki's uh, uh, point is the social environment. Yeah. I think it's really something when we talk about, about you see, Tafisa message and WHO message. Because uh, sport, physical activity, and, 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 and or living, it's, it's a very social phenomenon. It leaves vitally in the society. For example, yesterday's, yesterday's uh, presentation, I, I think that this Iranian presentation, it gave a sense of, you see, uh, social environment. It really, I, I was very, you see, happy about this presentation because I recognized myself as an administrator 
where caring parents, how skillful Philippines are doing administrative.